Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I want to invite you to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment if you will. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all of our updates. God bless you. Come on, let's get to the Word. These are the latter days. These are the last days. Now listen, listen. It doesn't give me any pleasure to bring these kind of messages, but we can't avoid reading through the Word of God. We can't ignore what's going on in our culture. We certainly can't ignore what's going on in the church today. You know, Paul writes, he says, in the last days, he says, men are going to want to have their ears tickled. Honey, I didn't bring a feather to tickle your ear today. Listen, I know, I know, I know that this is a heavy message. This isn't like a feel-good, dancing, shouting, hallelujah kind of a message. I understand that. It, 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 it's, it's difficult for me even, and laboring through the week, praying that this message comes across in love. I know it's heavy message, but so, so let me encourage you here as we wrap this up. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 38, he says, For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving to marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and it took them all away. Paul writes to Thessalonians, first Thessalonians 5, uh, verse 2, it says, For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, you're not in darkness. Come on, somebody. You're not in darkness. So that this day should surprise you like a thief. Watch this. On December 6th, 1941, in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, people were eating and drinking. They were marrying and giving in marriage. They were partying and enjoying beach, but enjoying the beach. But then came December 7th. We were attacked by Japan and we were thrust into World War II on one day. September 10, 2001. People were eating, people were drinking, people were partying. They were marrying and giving in marriage uh, with no worries. Everything was hunky-dory. But then came Tuesday, September 11th, in New York City, the Twin Towers came down and were still involved in the conflict in Iraq. On October 6th, 2023, in Israel, there were concert goers enjoying the holidays, enjoying vacation time, enjoying themselves. They were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. But then came October 7th, Hamas attacked. They were caught by surprise. And we are now on the verge of World War III leading to Armageddon. Does somebody see the pattern here? The day's coming, my friend. It will be like no other day in the history of the world. I gave you three examples how in a 24-hour period, the world got turned upside down. So let me encourage you right here. Put the scripture up there, Caleb. Luke chapter 21. Jesus said, be careful, huh? Or your hearts will be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness, the anxieties of life. And that day will close on you unexpectedly, like a trap. For it will come upon all those who live on the face of the earth. In other words, nobody will escape. But here's what Jesus is telling us, saints of God. Be always on the watch. And pray, somebody shout pray, pray. 
that you may be able to stand and escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Come on, somebody. Come on, are you looking for that day? I don't know about you, but I'm looking for that day of escape. Hallelujah. But for now, listen, the persecution is coming. Christians are being tried. We got to be ready to stand up. Don't pay attention to what in the world is going on. Pay attention to what in the word is going on. Because when we know what's happening, and I gave you this analogy before, it's like watching a, 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 a rerun of the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl's today. Now, if you watch it tomorrow as a rerun and you already know the score and you had a team that you were rooting for and they won, you have no worries. Right? You could sip your latte through the whole game. You don't have to yell at the referee. You don't have to do nothing. Because why? You know your team wins. I'm trying to tell somebody here today, our team wins wins no matter what it looks like come on judah somebody in the house give our god a praise come on and stand with me hey this is pastor michael Yerusha, and i hope you enjoyed today's short word now you can help us spread the gospel of jesus christ all over the earth by simply hitting that like button subscribing to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell and last but not least share this message with all your friends and family. Well, God bless you and Maranatha. Jesus Christ is coming soon.